Hey guys, welcome back. Well, for you steampunk fans out there, this is going to be a cool one for you because we're going to be modeling a pit helmet. All right, here we go. All right, guys, well, it's time to get started on our pit helmet, right? Now, this is not too complicated, uh, but nevertheless, you need to uh, pay attention to the details to make it look good, as always. And that said, let's get started. So I'm going to start with a polygon sphere, and I'm going to control A to open up the attribute editor. And we're going to go in and we're going to change the subdivision level to, uh, I guess, 12 would be fine. Uh, maybe 16. We'll do 16. All right. Yeah, slightly better. Okay. Then we're going to jump in to our front view here. We're going to right click at a face and I'm going to drag, select, and basically delete this entire section here. Okay. And then we're going to go in, and I can actually do that from the top. We're going to go in, right-click at a face, and drag, select that little section on top there. All right. So now that we have that, what we're going to do next is we're going to right-click and go to Edge, and we're going to double-click on this guy. Hit Control e to Extrude. Hit W to pull down. And try to keep that roughly even. So hit R to scale that out to, I would say, about there. And then we're going to hit the G to repeat again. We're going to hit W to push down again. And again, roughly the same uh, distance. And then we're going to start to flare that out. Like, I would say, maybe even more, like this. G to repeat. W to pull down. We'll do one more. To, I would say, about here. And then let's flare that out a little bit too. Okay. Now, that's the uh, the basics of it long way to go but that's all right and then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to create a couple of bands here on the bottom part so for that what we'll do is we'll go to uh let's see injured edge loop option box multiple we'll set that to three which is fine and we'll add three right there hit q on our keyboard and what we're going to do is we're going to right click at our face click and shift double click click shift double click click shift double click and click Shift double click. Control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.01. Uh, let's do a bit more than that. 0 0.03. That's better. And uh, let me think, guys. No, actually, we'll do 0 0.01. That's better. Okay. Then we're going to skip one row. Hit Control E again. We'll do. 0.01 once again and we'll repeat that process control e to extrude 0.01 and the last one control e to extrude and 0.01 all right let's do a quick smooth the test here let's hit three to smooth and you can see that we've got those lines here, but they're not really strong. So let's hit one to go back. We'll uh, deal with that in a second. So that's okay. Then we're gonna go in, uh, enter the edge loop, option box, open that up. We're gonna set that to single. And let's put one in down here. We want this edge to be kind of faint. So don't go nuts on that one. But we do want to have kind of strong lines on these, right? So we're just going to go in here and add a few edge loops. I'm not going to go nuts on it because we don't want this to be a high poly model. And that should make all the difference in the world. Now you could go in and increase those instead, but um, this should do the trick. Let's hit three to preview smooth. Yeah, much better lines. Okay. Right, so that's good. Now, the thing is that this helmet is round and it's not supposed to be round. It's supposed to be somewhat oval, right? So we're gonna jump to our top here. We got the selected, we're gonna hit R and we're gonna start to push this in to, I would say about this. That looks much better, all right? And then let's see, we got the little edge going on there, uh, whether we want to have a more distinct edge or not. Let's hit one to go back. What we'll do is we'll, um, and I didn't intend to do that, but we'll do it anyway. We'll put one edge here. Let's see if that helps. Hit three. Yeah, it's a bit better. Okay. 
So that's good. Now for the top here, we're going to take another sphere. W, pull that up. Let's uh, jump in here and we're going to change the subdivision level to 16. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 16 is fine. And 16. And then we're going to right click and go to face. And we're going to drag select all of this and delete it. And then we're going to take this guy, hit R to scale that way down, and hit W to pull that down. Now let's have a look from the top here. Okay needs a little bit of work but that's okay let's scale that we can either scale it and keep it round and I think that is the case with helmets like this so we'll do that and we'll cover that entire hole there but that said and uh, there's one little thing that we want to um, address and that is that we little we have these little notches normally in there um, so let's see how we're gonna deal with that so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna take that second face here and we'll do the same in the back. And let's delete those. And then we're going to go in here and hit 3 to preview smooth. And it will look something like this. Right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit W and push that down. Until we get a little slight opening like that. That's what we want. So what we're going to do here is we're going to right click go to edge. And we're going to bring that edge up. Of course, that's not going to work. My apologies. Let's uh, see what we're going to do is we're going to take these edges. Control E to extrude. W to push down. G to repeat and R to scale in. That's going to be better. I'm going to go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it. Let's bring that down. And then we still need to hit R and push it down like this. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks right. I do want some thickness though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit uh, Control E to extrude 0.01. Let's do 0 0.04. Come on. 0 0.015. 0 0.005. That's better. Okay. All right. So we got that. And then we need to have that band on the front there. That's kind of tricky. So uh, let's see how we're going to do that. First of all, um, and although I want this to be low poly, um, if you go back a few steps, you got your low poly. So I'm gonna make this a little bit more high poly. So if you then want to go out and bake it, you can do that easily, right? And I just wanna take this uh, to the next level. So this is still uh, preview smooth. So let's go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it. It's kinda of cool, yeah. And then we're gonna go in here. We're gonna to jump to the top. right and then we need to create a band that's going to cross the front there and uh, let's see what we'll do is we'll take a cube a w bring that out here r to push that in that would be about the right thickness i think yeah let's uh check <coughs> excuse me the height this is supposed to be a leather strap, so let's keep this nice and thin. And then what we want to do is go to Insert Edge Loop, Option Box, open that up, Multiple, and set it to 1. So this will be perfectly in the middle. Hit Q on our keyboard, and I can now right-click and go to Face, and delete all that, and just work with this guy, okay? So I'm going to take these vertices, hit W, push that back. And I want that line to be almost straight. Okay, so let's uh, push this down here. First, push this down. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the front for now. 
And then I want that bottom vertex to touch or almost touch. Okay, and then we got these. Basically same deal here. And of course I only got one. Let me try that again. All right, sorry about that guys. Okay, so then we're gonna go in and we're gonna take this face, hit uh, Control E to extrude and W to pull out. And like I said, this is going to be almost straight. Okay, so let's see how that relates to that curve there. Not too bad. G to repeat, do to pull out. And at this point, it's going to start to curve. So let's kind of bring that in here. Push that down. Let's see how that flow is looking. I'm going to right click at a vertex and I'm going to take these two. Slightly curve that. And I'm going to go back in again. I'm going to take that face, Control E to extrude, and W to pull out. And at this point, it's starting to become tricky. So let's bring that in here. Let's bring that up back a little bit let's look at that flow there that's not bad there you go and then what we want here is for this corner and uh, so we're gonna right click at a vertex check these for that corner to move in this direction there guys it's a bit fiddly sorry for that all right and then we're gonna go in here we're gonna take that face again control E to extrude W to pull out let's do that and then bring that down hit G to repeat W to pull down again and this time we need to pull it out well, let's see what we got here that looks about right I would say okay so what we need to do next is we need to take this guy here and we need to let's see the pivot is in the right height there so we're going to go in and we are going to go to uh, edit duplicate special option box negative one scale on z or z whatever you want to call that and hit duplicate special and it moved that guy over there so select them both go to mesh and combine and then we're going to right click and go to vertex drag select those vertices and go to edit mesh and merge and then we're going to go in and hit three to preview smooth and have a look so that's not too bad we need to add a little detail here so hit one we're going to go in and to enter as loop again we're going to set that to manual and let's go in here and I want one right there. I want one there. Let's do one here and here. And that should pretty much take care of it. Q on a keyboard. Let's 
go to object mode and hit three. And uh, there you have it. So basically guys, that is our pit helmet, all right? Now you can go in and uh, smooth this one more step if you like. Let's go to mesh and uh, smooth. And that will give you this guy right here. Now, like I said, it's no longer a low poly, but the low poly part, we already had that before. That was kind of straightforward. If you want to add a little bit more detail to the top here, I guess we can do that. Just hit Control Z to go back for one step. What we'll do is we'll go in here and I'm going to right click and go to Edge. And I'm going to take those center edges in front and in the back. Hold on shift while you select them. We're going to do the same here. Just to give it a little more detail. Okay, they're all selected all the way to the top looks like. We're going to go to edit mesh and uh, bevel. Let's increase that fraction a little bit. Let's see how far we can go. Let's do I think four is fine. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click and go in and we're going to click on that face row. And we're going to control E to extrude. Let's do minus 0 0.03, which should be fine. Let's hit three and have a look. And there you have it. Okay. So um, instead of preview smooth, we're going to go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth. And there you have it. There's our pit helmet. Okay. Well, that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, hopefully you had fun with this little tutorial. If you've got any questions, as always, uh, please let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching and love to see you guys again. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.